All right, so in this video, we're going to be looking at um, creating folders with different editing rights inside the Google Drive uh, app for the iPad. And so we're going to create a view only and edit only uh, folders. To do that, we're going to uh, tap on the blue button, blue plus button, and then we're going to select folder. If you notice, I already created an edit only folder, so the only thing that I'll have to do is create a view folder. Um, but as I walk you through this, make sure that you create an edit only and a view only. Um, there's only one change uh, that you'll have to make sure you're aware of uh, in regards to each folder as far as the sharing permissions goes. So we'll click on folder and then I'll name this view only. And you could have multiple view only folders, whether it pertains to grade levels, uh, meetings, groups, uh, between individual people, and same goes for edit. Uh, only folders. So then we'll hit create. Now we have a view only and an edit, uh, edit only side by side. And if I wanted to go in and share those folders, what I would do is I tap on, I'm going to do it for the view only. I'm going to tap on the three dots and I'm going to click on add people. And so when I'm clicking on add people, because this is a view only folder, I want to make sure I click on the pencil with the drop down and select can view only. As a default, it puts it in as the, the people you're inviting can organize, add, and edit to that uh, folder. So we're going to say view only, and then as I start typing in people, uh, they should populate that I want to add to that, that folder. And so then I'll just select, and I can go in and I can uh, add a message. And then after that, um, I can uh, click on the three dots and have it notify people who has access that I'm sending that. And all I want to do is uh, click on the on the send the arrow. Uh, that's a little paper airplane arrow, uh, and that's going to send out the invitation for um, whether you add an individual person or people or groups. Uh, to, to have access to that folder. The thing would go for the edit only, I'm just going to click on the three dots and I'm going to click on add people and then after I click on that I don't have to change this because this is the edit only and I'll just go through the same steps of adding the, the people or groups um, that you want to add to that shared folder, um, create a message letting them know uh, that you're creating a folder uh, and then if you want to click on the three dots um, you, can, you can notify people um, who has access when you send it to them uh, via email. So now that we created those folders, um, if we hold down on a file or a folder, in this case we're going to hold down a file, um, we can go in and move the item. So we can, it says drag and collection items below um, into a folder to move them. So it makes it really easy that we can go in and select a file or folder and pretty much all we have to do is I like to click on the three dots and click on move and since from there we're going in and I'm selecting my drive for example I can select the folder I want it to move to so in this case I maybe want to put it to the view only and then once I select that I can move that file to the view only and that file once I select move um, will be put in that folder and it will also be shared out automatically to the people multiple people uh, that or groups that I, that I had assigned to have access to that folder so now by having view only folders created uh, pre-created, we can go in and create documents and then once we, we create those documents, all we're doing is um, whoops, all we're doing is going in to the drive, holding down uh, to select, so you're just holding down your finger on a, a file that you want to select or multiple files that you'd want to select and then you're getting the option to put a star on it um, to share it with more people or uh, the three dots, you can go in and move that 
to a certain folder and it will assume those sharing rights. 